I'll go with my pick now. Um, I'm going with, I got to go with Killer Mike. Killer Mike is yeah. my number three. Excellent choice. Killer right, fucking Mike. I, I could say so many fantastic things about Killer Mike. Killer uh, uh, I, I don't want to step on your toes, Monty. Go ahead. Yeah, like like everything this dude's done from Run the Jewels to his involvement with like uplifting his people. Like like lyrically is great, but also he brings that same lyricism to talking about uplifting his people. Like he he got himself in trouble by sitting there, I forgot where it was, but he got to speak at some convention or something, and yeah, he and the sits there. He's like, "We all good. sitting here talking about revolution and shit. How many of y'all know a form of martial arts? How many of y'all can grow your own food?" He went in on these motherfuckers. He's like, "If we planning this, then let's do it. Stop talking about it. Let's be about it." Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like yeah. Killer Mike is about what he raps about, and lyrically. You, you, you really can't fuck with them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, like Killer Mike goes in. Like, ever since yeah. he showed up on, uh, what was that? Uh, that Outcast song. Fuck. Fuck. Why am Whole I world. working? Whole world. Whole world. Yeah. His verse on that, I was like, who the fuck is this? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, he, listen, he stole that. He stole that song. Yeah. Yeah. He stole that song. But he stole that song because he was the only one that rapped on the beat the right way. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> No, no it's just cause, perfectly because the beat, because then, it was like, it, it's, it's one of them beats that's like, boom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and they tried to rap on it like it was a regular beat. Yeah. And, and, and he used that triplet flow, that dun and dun and dun and dun and dun and dun that that triplet flow, which is now called the Migos flow. Yeah. Right? Uh, yeah. Like, that was that. He started, he ran, he used the right flow pattern yeah. for the beat. And like, it's as a music producer, it's always interesting to me, like, because like I feel like the beat is going to tell you what you're supposed to do on it, and oftentimes writers are like they want the beat to be as simple as possible so that they they're not confined by it. They want to be able to do whatever they want to do on it, and I'm like, no, nah, man. Sometimes the beat got to lock your ass in place. Okay, yeah. like sometimes you got to listen. This beat is an uncomfortable suit. You are an uncomfortable dress. You gonna wear this motherfucker? You gonna look good as hell? You not gonna feel good while you doing it? Good. But everybody gonna see you and be like, God damn! Right? Yeah. And at the end of the day, isn't that what we do it for? Yep. And and look, you don't know, get me started. You know when I first heard Killer Mike jewels. was that song Adidas he made all day. All day I, I dream. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like and him with Run the Jewels, like that's some of his best work. Yeah, yeah, the, all, all the Run the Jewel stuff is dope. Whenever yeah. they do concerts here in Atlanta, them shits are always sold out. And I never, yeah. and, and it's never sold out by us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> one of my favorite songs is, uh, fuck, I always blank on the name of the song, but one of his bars is Born Black That's Dead on Arrival. Like, fuck, that shit cuts mm-hmm. deep. Yeah, and then uh-huh. And then uh, I'm, I'm trying to survive in spite of these all lives matter ass white folks. Like, Fuck. Yeah. I met Killer Mike in 2009 at the Red Bull Big Tune uh, producer battle. I was, the, the, and I'm not going to get into the whole Red Bull story because I know we ain't got time for that. But yeah. the short version is Red Bull used to throw this gigantic producer contest. It was a nationwide contest. It would start off with like 96,000 producers tried out for this shit. That 96,000 gets narrowed down to 128. That 128 got narrowed down to 16, right? And then that 16 got narrowed down to two. Yeah. I was one of the two. Okay, it literally <laughs> came down to me and his other producer named Frank Dukes. Frank Dukes produced, uh, or he co-produced, I think, uh, 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 either st- uh, started from the bottom for Drake. He did uh, "Needed Me" for uh, Rihanna. He's got. A, he also and Cam- 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 Camilla Cabello is his artist. So like Havana, all that shit. That's all him, right? Oh wow. Um, okay. Yeah, that's the guy I battled in the finals uh, and beat at the finals. Okay, like oh, like shit. I like Red Red Bull robbed me uh, that night. That's again, <laughs> yeah, you got robbed. Conversation, but that night I had the opportunity to meet Killer Mike. After I got off stage, Killer Mike came and found me in the crowd, and he was like, "Hey, bro, man, your shit fire, cool. We gotta work." And he gave me his information, and for, ever since then, I would just randomly talk to Killer Mike. You know what I'm saying? And I, I recently got a chance to reconnect with him because I was at his video shoot 
for uh, uh, last year. He released uh, when he put out his uh, Grammy winning his his Grammy winning album, uh, Mike. Yep. The Michael album. Michael. Right? Mm-hmm. The Michael, Michael album. Was great. Uh, which won that Grammy for Rap Album of the Year. The yes. first single off of that project is called Down by Law featuring yes. CeeLo Green. That video was shot at DBS Sounds in Riverdale, Georgia. Shout out to my man Tobago, the owner of the shop, right? The uh, one of the few black owned record stores in the in, in the Southeast United States. They shot that video there, and I am all in that motherfucking yes. video. Hannibal is yeah. everywhere in that video. I'm all in that motherfucking video. That is a great this fucking match. song. If you okay. want to hear CeeLo Green oh, go in and do his thing and also see Hannibal everywhere, go yeah. check that shit out. Killer yeah. Mike so, yeah. raps his ass off. CeeLo Green comes in and goes, Oh, just so, so y'all remember who CeeLo is? This is who CeeLo is. Yeah. All happens in that song. And Hannibal's yeah. all over the video. Go check that shit out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it, yeah. And Down By Law is actually my favorite song on the project. And it's like the first song on the project. Yeah. Scientists and, and Engineers I, is my favorite off that project. No, Sci- Scientists and Engineers is that shit. That, that, that song is fire. That whole album is fire, right? Yeah. I love the production. I love that they found a way to make it hip-hop, but also Southern, right? Yeah. Like, he never compromises that he is from the south that he is of the south matter of fact that you know what that project is to me that project is ti walked so killer mike could run yep Mm. yep like in in terms of like the way he mixed trap music and soul music with lyricism right without feeling like he had to compromise any one of those things he made a blackity black rapidly rap (laughs) Southern album that won the Grammy for Rap Album of the Year, and he yeah. fucking deserved it. Yeah. Zoe, dropped, Zoe dropped one of Clues Bombs for Killer Mike. Yeah. Also got arrested trying to get awards on that. That sounds like someone, some man, turn that damn blackity black rapidy rap shit on. <laughs> that's that's what sleep. Michael is. That's what Michael <laughs> is. Your white neighbors will scream, turn that black rap, rapidy rap shit off. Yeah, uh, but yes, no. Killer Killer Mike is that guy. Like he's he's like so many favorite rappers. Favorite favorite rapper. Y'all 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 finished or y'all done? I ain't got no more talking. Sweet Halloween in Collard Green.